Hi there. My name is Sunija Joseph, and today I am going to be reading Froggy's Lemonade Stand. This is by Jonathan London, and I'm reading it for United Way of Greater Atlanta. Let's get started. It was hot. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. The sun was shining like a gold coin. Aha, he said to himself, that gives me a great idea. So he hopped out of bed and got dressed. Zip, zip, zip. And flopped to the kitchen for breakfast. Flop, flop, flop. Mom, he said, jumping up on his chair. I'm going to have a lemonade stand and make lots and lots of money. Good idea, said his mother. But first, eat your breakfast. So Froggy ate his breakfast of cereal and flies, munch, crunch, munch, and thought about what he could buy with all the money he made. Let's see, he said, a new hula hoop, or maybe a pogo stick, or even a new superhero cape. That's what Froggy is looking at. Then he said, okay, time to sell some lemonade. And he jumped up and flopped outside. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy called his mother. What? First, you have to make the lemonade, dear. Oops, cried Froggy. I know that. And he picked some lemons from their lemon tree, then raced into the kitchen and started squeezing them into a pitcher singing, Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ouch, cried Froggy. I squirted lemon juice in my eye. When the pitcher was full, he poured in a whole box of sugar. Zoop! Then lots and lots of ice cubes. Splash, splash, splash. And then he stuck his finger in to taste it. Yum, said Froggy. And he flopped back outside with the lemonade. Flop, 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 and he only splashed half of it out. Froggy called his mother. What? You forgot to make lemonade stand. Oops, I know that. Now, with a little help from mom and dad, Froggy made a lemonade stand. Bang, bang, bang. Then he hammered a sign and shouted, free lemonade for sale, 25 cents. But Froggy said his mother. How could it be free if it cost 25 cents? Oops, cried Froggy, and he drew a line through the word, free, swish. Then he sat down and waited for his first customer to come. He waited and waited and waited, and it got hotter and hotter. And every time Froggy got thirsty, he drank a cup of lemonade, glug, glug, glug. And by the time his first customer, Frogolina, came and said, Hi, Froggy, a cup of lemonade, please. Just two drops dropped out of the pitcher. Splish, splish. All the lemonade was gone. Oops, said Froggy, and he ran off and raced back with an old soccer trophy. One soccer trophy for sale, 25 cents. But Froggy, what I really want is... Then Mac showed up and said, Hi, Froggy, a cup of lemonade, please. Froggy ran up again and rushed back with the busted saxophone. One saxophone for sale, 25 cents. But Froggy, what I really want is... That's Max. Just then Matthew showed up and said, Hi, Froggy, a cup of lemonade, please. Yikes, said Froggy, and he jumped up and ran off and dashed back with a broken baseball bat. One baseball bat for sale, 25 cents. But Froggy, what I really want is... Lemonade, everybody shouted, even Polly Wogalina. 
Oh, I give up, said Froggy. Follow me. And he led everyone back into the kitchen. Oops, said Froggy. There's no sugar left and all the ice is melted. All the lemons are gone. I'll help you pick some more, said Frogolina. I'll get some sugar, said Max, and I'll get some ice, said Matthew. Good idea, said Froggy. While Max and Matthew ran off, Frogolina climbed the lemon tree and picked lemons. And then when Max came back with a box of sugar and Matthew came back with a bucket of ice, they all made lemonade together singing, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Then they ran outside and had a wild lemonade party around the lemonade stand. Froggy called his dad. What? So how much money did you make? Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. I didn't make one cent. But we all had a great time. Yes, cried his friends. The end.